This is Gene Key, KDD News. ConnectAmarillo.com reports a Donnelly County heavy equipment operator was killed Wednesday afternoon after he was involved in a train collision. Texas Department of Public Safety said 51-year-old Randy Jean Woodward of Headley was killed near County Road 23. According to officials, a maintainer was southbound and a Burlington Northern train was westbound. That's when the train struck the left rear of the maintainer, causing Woodward to be ejected. Amarillo.com reports a fire that started in the attic of a Pampa home on Wednesday caused an estimated $10,000 in damage. Pampa firefighters responded to a residential fire about 6.10 p.m. in the 1,600 block of North Wilston Street. When firefighters arrived, smoke was pouring out of two attic vents. The blaze was contained to the two-story home's attic. Firefighters fought the blaze through the roof. Fire officials declared the blaze under control about 6.30 p.m. At least one person was home at the time but did not sustain any injuries from the fire. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. From MyHighPlains.com, wheat prices were good last year, but wheat yields were low. Dr. Stephen Amason with the Texas AgriLife Research Extension Center in Amarillo says we must have rain in February and the early part of March or our wheat crop is in serious trouble. Panhandle farmers produce half of the wheat in Texas, which ranks them 13th in the nation. It brings almost a half a billion dollars to our area every year. Two to three million acres are covered in wheat in the Texas Panhandle every year. Wheat planted in September is harvested starting in June. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD News.